Welcome back. Well, Indonesia's Minister of Communications and Informatics, Johnny G. Plate, affirmed that his ministry have reactivated access to a number of online services that were previously blocked as they had failed to register to Indonesia's electronic systems database, which is now required under a new law. According to Minister Plate, the block on Steam and Yahoo was lifted as of Tuesday, the 2nd of August, while the block on PayPal had been lifted since Sunday, the 31st of July. Indonesia's communications minister affirmed that these three online services have given their commitment to completing their registration onto Indonesia's electronics systems, which will be done through the online single submission system. The Indonesian Communications and Informatics Ministry also vowed to assist these, their registration process through a help desk. Now, the mandatory registration under Indonesia's new licensing rules is part of a ministerial regulation that was issued last year. The new licensing rules require tech companies to register into the private electronic system operators list or PSE list so that the Indonesian government can ensure that platforms disclose certain user data, ensure they remove unlawful content or content that disturbs public order within 4 to 24 hours. The new rule is also to ensure that companies are able to provide services in the Indonesian language. Beberapa waktu yang lalu Kementerian Kominfo melaksanakan penegakan perundang-undangan di Indonesia untuk menjaga ya reputasi dan kedaulatan digital Indonesia. Namun demikian dengan memperhatikan perkembangan yang ada di masyarakat dan perlindungan terhadap kepentingan warga negara, maka Kominfo melakukan normalisasi terhadap beberapa dari antara tujuh penyelenggara sistem elektronik yang belum terdaftar dan memberikan kesempatan untuk segera melaksanakan pendaftaran.